speaking this afternoon with Leslie Chong from Imugene. Leslie, good afternoon. Hi there, Andrew. Good to speak, Leslie. Look, a milestone here for the, the Vaccinia mass trial. Uh, first patients dosed in the third cohort. Tell us a bit more. Sure. So let me uh, maybe lay out the design of this particular study, because I think that's really important. This is a phase one that could go into a phase two. So it's fairly adaptive. It's got four arms. So it's got an intratumoral uh, route of administration. It's got an intravenous route of admission, administration, and it also has a combination with Pembrolizumab or Keytruda, the brand name. So that's also an IT as well as IV. So our CF33, our oncolytic virus, by itself in, uh, in what we call monotherapy and IT, monotherapy and IV, and then another two other arms, IT and Pembro, IV and Pembro. So there's four different arms, which is very complicated. So what this means is that we've dose escalated. So each uh, cohort of patient has cleared in safety, and no toxicities um, uh, reported thus far. So we're just moving up the dosing. So not only in IT, IV, and IV, and also in combination. So we're in cohort one of that combination. So in the IT, IV monotherapy, we're in cohort three. So for IT, this is a fairly high dose. So it's significant in that we opened the study in May of 2022. And we also have for each patient a staggering that FDA uh, puts on our study or all studies really in phase one. So there's a 21 day in between the patients and yet we're already in cohort three. And so I'm extremely pleased uh, not only are we in cohort three, we're looking at a myriad of solid tumors because as Yuman Fong, the inventor of CF33, our oncolytic virus, has always said that this infects and replicates in all solid tumors and malignancies. And so, so that's exactly what we're, what we're trying to prove now in humans. Hmm. Just remind us some of, the, some of the data you saw from the preclinical work here. Well, preclinically, uh, I think um, we have we have this on our corporate uh, slides and everywhere else is the fact that there's a National Cancer Institute line of 60 different cancer indications. So humans invention, CF33, has killed, annihilated all 60. And that's a a mix of solid tumors that is completely killed. Professor Yuman Fong being such a prolific scientist and surgeon, he then created 20 additional lines just to see how this would work and it killed all 20. So all told something like 80 lines of various different cancer therapies this has killed. So now we have put this in humans and we're also uh, you know, enrolling plenty of various different solid tumors. Well, look, you said enrollment uh, in the study kicked off uh, May last year. All up, you're expecting it to run for about two years, are you? Well, no, not necessarily. Um, we put, so in the protocol, you actually have to stipulate how long you think you anticipate your study to to go. Um, I dare say our, our clinical team is doing such a great job. And what you have to remember is a lot of the oncologists on the study, they vote on their feet. So they do not like to enroll patients into a study if they haven't seen something interesting. Um, they're not putting, you know, they're, they're caregivers, first of all. And so they're looking at their patients, trying to provide them with meaningful therapy. And so um, if it says anything, we have oncologists who have lined up patients to be on the study, who's, who are actually calling the uh, the hospitals and clinics to say, 
can I be in the study? So we've got patients lined up and the oncologists are being quite selective about who they put on the study. And Leslie, you mentioned Professor Human Fong before. Uh, he's due to be a keynote speaker at the upcoming BioShares Biotech Summit in July. That's right. That's right. So he has been selected as the keynote speaker on the 17th annual BioShares Biotech Summit that is in Hobart, uh, 24, 25th of July. Oh, exciting times. Leslie, good to speak. Thanks very much. Thank you.